good morning students in today's class we are going to see about a uh, writing junction in lesson 3 raju's hero we are going to see about a uh, writing junction okay uh, in english you would have come across a uh, various author right okay can you name some of the authors that you know they are the william shakespeare william wordsworth william blake and uh, jane austen then charles bernard shaw these are some of the uh, authors okay uh, whom did you like the most what are the authors you like the most for your favorite author have you read any stories poems and novels or even a biography about them have you read anything about them okay so today a raju he has uh, written an essay about one a favorite author that is a uh, shel silverstein okay the famous author for uh, raju is shel silverstein so he has written an essay about him okay so this is the question raju loves to read and write his favorite author is sel silverstein okay he has collected information about sel silverstein and written an essay in his notebook okay so this is what you have seen here so this is a short essay that was written by uh, raju uh, this essay is about a uh, sel silverstein okay let's go through that okay first they have given a tabla column right so in the tabla column what are the things are the facts about my favorite author books or stories by him reasons for liking his writing so these are the titles the for your better understanding they are given in the tabla column what are the facts that is a, a brief just the hints they are given about the biography of sel silverstein the name of the author is sel silverstein so born on 25th september 1930 okay a place of birth chicago illinois and he died on 10th may 1999 okay the next one uh, books and stories by him what are the books and story he has written so books of poems and a uh, children's books so what are the stories means where the sidewalk ends the missing piece the giving tree so this was the uh, story was written by him he has written uh, several stories but for you they are given a uh, some only okay reason for uh, liking his writing what are the reasons for liking why raju like sel silverstein what are the reason so the reason are he wrote for a uh, children so he wrote mostly for the children his poems are fun and easy to understand his poems are very fun and it will be very easy to understand he does not use the difficult words so, so he does not use any difficult words so only he like by him so raju like as sel silverstein okay let's go through the passage my favorite author is sel silverstein he was born on 25th september 1930 in chicago illinois although he wrote mostly for children his books are enjoyed both by children as well as adults he wrote a book of poems called where the sidewalk ends in 1974 and another one called the missing piece in 1976 he died on 10th may 1999 so he has written some of the poems what are the poems where the side sidewalk ends and the missing piece okay so this paragraph they are given about the uh, short a brief uh, brief introduction about the author where he was born what are the poems and when did he die like that they are given a brief introduction about the author the next passage is about the reason why he likes why a raju liked a sel silverstein what are the reason for his liking that was given in the second uh, second passage that is i love his poem they are fun and easy to understand he does not use a difficult words and his topic are relatable when i feel sad i read one of his poems and it instantly cheers me up so when uh, raju he he feels very sad so he will be reading a sel silverstein silverstein's poems so by reading the poem it will cheer up so it will give a very energetic to raju so this passage is about the reason for a writing okay reasons for liking okay the next one this passage is about what are the book he has written what are the stories he has written like that that was given in the next passage sel silverstein wrote a book of poems for children the first one was uncle shelby story of lafcadio the lion who shot back that is okay his uh, most famous one is a giving tree 
so the giving tree it's one of the famous story for a raj okay i read it first when i was in the second grade that was in a when raj was in the second standard he re, used to read the the giving tree story okay it is a story about a boy and a tree as a boy grow older he has a lesser time for the trees but the tree continued to give him what he needs the tree gives the boy its shade its fruit and later its branch to make a boat so that the boy can go for a sailing okay many years later the boy returns as a old man and the tree says i am sorry boy i have nothing left to give you the boy say i don't i do not need much now just a quiet place to sit and rest the tree says well an old tree stump is a good place for sitting and resting come sit down and rest the story is so sad it beautiful it is my favorite story so they are given the brief inter, brief uh, just uh, they are given the uh, introduction that is uh, given giving tree story just they are given the uh, just that what they are telling means the uh, the giving tree it is a story about a boy and a tree the he used to spend most of the, the boy he used to spend most of the time in trees but he uh, while he was growing up he spent a less time in trees but the tree he, uh, it continues to give for him shade shelter and fruit etc and its uh, branch also it makes for the boat to sail so many years later as the boy he grows older and the tree it also grow older no so at that time the tree says sorry boy i am having nothing left for you so i am not having anything like that the tree said because the tree it continuously give for the boy but now as the tree it goes older and older it can't able to give so the tree is saying i am not having uh, i am not having anything to give for you the boy said don't worry i no need anything just i need a quiet place to sit and rest like that the boy is selling so what do you mean by a stump a stump means the bottom part of the tree trunk which is left over a stump means in tamil we will say paadiya katta irukumla tree in the ground uh, it will be half cut and that is known as a stump the, so the old tree stump it's a good place for a sit and rest so this is one of the beautiful story and it's also a yes, sad story so this story was likened by a raju okay so this is a passage so what he has written first uh, they have written a tabular column in order to better understanding they are given about a tabular column next they are given a brief introduction about the author next passage is about the reasons for liking why uh, raju like a sel silverstein so reason for liking that was given in the second passage and third and fourth passage is about what are the stories he has written and they also explain one of the story that is a giving tree story they have explained it okay so students have you all understand this so go through this so with the help of this passage only you will be writing your homework okay so this is a homework for you collect information about your favorite author and use the details to write a short passage about him or her remember to make a concept map before you write you have to make a concept map that is uh, just the hint points you have to make it out so include these points while writing about your favorite author so what are the points of a brief introduction about an author when and where you read a story or novel by the author for the first time the next point is your favorite story or novel by him or her reasons for liking his or her writing so you have to include these four points and you have to write the short passage with the help of the already i have explained one a short passage about sl silverstein no so with the help of the passage you have to write a short passage about your a favorite author your favorite author it may be any of your author but you have to include these four points in your notebook and send it to me thank you